Hello perfect beauties, my name is Daisy and welcome to the Acne channel. So today I am going to be talking about at home DIY treatments you can use to help alleviate acne scars. Now you guys know that I came up with um, the Banish kit that you can purchase at banishacnescars.com but here are some other ways um, and at home remedies you can try to get rid of your acne scars in the meantime. While most acne scars will fade on their own after several months, there are certain things that you can do to help speed up the process and avoid further um, hyperpigmentation and further scarring. The first thing is aloe vera. So fresh aloe vera gel is a potent source of vitamins which can help to heal skin and fade scars. Aloe is gentle, so you won't have to worry about further damaging or irritating the skin. The second way to get rid of acne scars is by using baking soda. So baking soda is composed of sodium bicarbonate crystals, which help gently exfoliate the skin when used as a cleansing scrub. So I use this also around my nose to kind of help get rid of the blackheads. Um, all you gotta do is just mix a few tables, teaspoons of baking soda with enough water to form a thick paste, then massage into the skin where scars are present. So you can leave the mixture on for a minute or two. This will allow the soda to cleanse pores and help prevent further blemishes. After a couple of minutes, wash your face in lukewarm water and apply a good natural moisturizer like rosehip, sea, coconut, jojoba, or my favorite, aloe vera oil. Do this about once every other day for great results. The next product to use is coconut oil. So coconut oil is at the top of the list when it comes to natural moisturizers with healing properties. So all you need to do is scoop about a quarter of a teaspoon of virgin coconut oil into the palm of your hand and let it melt as it comes up to your body temperature. And then with your fingertips, just massage a little bit of oil directly onto the scar skin and let it soak in. If the oil is too heavy for your comfort, leave it on for at least 30 minutes before removing with an all natural cleanser like Banish's uh, Green Tea The Starter Cleanser. So next we're gonna talk about cucumbers, which I love putting in my spa water. Thumbs up if you love cucumbers in your water. So they're the most popular ingredient in a lot of beauty products and the vegetable is not only super hydrating, but also contains vitamin A, C, and magnesium, which is all great for your skin. So how to use, just pick up an organic cucumber from your local market, cut off a few thin slices and lay them over your scarred skin. After about 30 minutes, discard the cucumber slices and rinse your face with cool water. Repeat daily as desired. Next is honey. So honey is a natural moisturizer which can help heal scars. It is best to use raw honey to get the best quality. So all you gotta do is simply massage a small amount of honey over your scars and let this wonder of nature work its magic. Next is lemon. So lemon juice is a natural alpha hydroxy acid that can be used to fade scars, promote healing, and revitalize the skin. So how to use, simply squeeze the juice from one organic lemon into a bowl. You should mix it with water if you have sensitive skin and then what I like to do is I like to take a cotton ball and dab this juice over scars and let it dry completely. Then rinse your face with cool water and follow up with a natural moisturizer. So repeat this treatment once every two to three days. The next is potato juice. So potato is another vegetable which is great for skin health and healing. So all you have to do is use the juice of a fresh organic potato to fade acne and pimple scars by cutting off a few thin slices and then applying them directly to the affected areas. For best results, then leave the potato juice on your skin for at least 15 minutes before rinsing them off with warm water. Next tip is a sugar scrub. So a sugar scrub is therapeutic way to heal acne scars because sugar cane contains glycolic acid, another alpha hydroxy that removes dead skin and promotes cell regeneration. Again, to remove acne scars, you can't really get rid of it. You just have to create new skin to kind of like hide it. So all you're gonna do is mix raw organic cane sugar with virgin olive oil at a two to one ratio, and then add several drops of organic lemon juice until your scrub is workable, but not too watery. Apply the sugar scrub to scars about once every two to three days. 
and leave on for about 15 minutes and remember to follow up with a good natural moisturizer. Next is vitamin E and we all know that vitamin E is good for our skin so how do we use vitamin E? Well, the easiest way for vitamin E in healing scars is to simply puncture the end of one of those vitamin E gel capsules like my mom has, and then squeeze the contents onto your fingertip. Apply the oil directly to scar skin or mix it into your daily moisturizer to help heal acne and pimple scars faster. Rosehip seed oil is also great in promoting naturally healthy skin. Be sure to use the organic cold press oil to get the maximum health benefits. So apply this lightweight, non-greasy treatment once or twice a day to reap the benefits of the essential fatty acids and high concentration of transretinoic acid, which is a natural form of vitamin A found in rose hip seeds, and that is also um, a form of Retin-A that you can apply in your face. So then the next thing is ice cubes, and that helps to fade acne scars by soothing the inflamed skin and reducing redness. So all you have to do is wrap an ice cube into a clean cloth or a piece of paper towel and hold it against the scar skin for a minute or two till the area starts to feel numb. The next is apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar um, helps manage the pH of your skin improving its appearance over time and helping to reduce the appearance of red marks and scars. So how to use dilute the vinegar to half its strength with water and apply it to the affected area every day with a cotton ball until the scars begin to fade. And also avoid picking at spots and scars. I know, I know it's tempting, but picking at your scars interrupts the process by which your skin naturally heals and can worsen their appearance. So just try not to pick at your scars. And also the best way that I have found to get rid of my acne scars was using the Banish Kit. Um, this can improve the appearance of shallow um, to indented and diffuse acne scarring along with improving overall skin tone and texture. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Banish Kit, it basically creates micro channels in your skin from the roller, which causes your skin to repair itself and build new collagen fibers and with combined a natural vitamin C serum because vitamin C is shown to boost collagen and elastin in your skin. It helps reduce scarring, wrinkles, and the depletion of collagen in your skin. So for any medical treatments, it's best to contact your dermatologist um, before really changing your skincare routine um, significantly. Um, but until next time, I hope this has helped and given you some more like DIY treatments you can use to kind of lessen the effect appearance of acne scarring and don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel because on every Tuesdays and Saturdays I mm, talk about something that is relating to acne and if you have any other either TMI or acne related questions you want me to talk about then put it in the comments below and again I am Daisy and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! You